How's it going, everybody? Today we're going to be playing some Terra. Look deep into nature to find the truth. I actually have Terra Diamond now. So yesterday I did a Terra only stream, and Terra is my least favorite god in the game to play. And we played a bunch of Terra, and the reason for that was because I did a charity stream about a month ago, and if we raised enough money, I said I would do a Terra only stream, and that's how that went. But I learned a few things. It was not all for naught. Well, I lost almost every single game because, I mean, Terra. I did learn some stuff, and I learned a few tricks on Terra. And I don't know uh, who originally discovered this trick. I know uh, I've heard that Rexy did a recent video with it, and I heard Final K did a video with it, and I heard Genetics did a video on it like over a year ago. But I, I have to find out who is the original person who found it out. But if you place Terra's 2 like this, and you dash, and then you close it while you're dashing, you can get you can get the close damage, and you can get the the slam damage, which is huge. It actually makes it one of the hardest hitting abilities like ever, because the shatter damage is already super high. If you get both shatter damage, it's very high. And then if you get the close damage with the stun as well, that's pretty amazing. You have to be like medium distance away to do it though. But yeah, we're going to max our two and hopefully we can get some some stuff done with this. Uh, against Anubis, this could be good because Anubis kind of has to stand still. And Anubis standing still for me is a good thing. Ah, see, I didn't even get it there. I didn't hit all of them. But yeah, I don't like playing Terra, so this will probably be the only Terra game on the channel for a while. Hold on. That will kill. Yep. Good stuff. So while I don't like playing Terra, she does have a lot of damage. Like, I don't think she's the worst god in Duel or anything like that. I just, I really don't like her cooldowns, her animation time, and all that, all that stuff. You know? That was really good. All right, we're going to recall. I'm actually rushing. I was going to rush Spear of the Mages, but uh, let's let's try rushing Divine Rune because it is an Anubis. And then we can go into Genji's, I think. I do want max cooldown late game, and I don't know, just a lot of power because Terra scaling actually is pretty good. Oh, he can just stun me out of my dash, and then I can't really do anything. <laughs> Getting stunned out of dash sucks. Oh, if you close it too early, that's also really bad. Like there, I closed it too early. But we're alive, okay. Yeah, the trick definitely takes some getting used to. Late game? Late game, it can hit for like... Like... A thousand damage. Or like, even more than a thousand damage. Uh, with just the two. That's not including if you hit with the three or the dash as well. You could probably get it to hit way harder than... A, th uh, a thousand if you actually go full damage build, but um, you ne you need pen, of course, as well. Yeah, no, if he keeps stunning me like that, I actually can't do anything. <laughs> it's one of the reasons I don't like Terra. She's very, very easy to counter. If they have a stun, every time you try dashing, she they can just stun you, and then you can't get your second dash. Oh, I did it too early there. can't actually fight. I was just ulting so he doesn't kill me. Unfortunate. I keep messing up the thingy. Alright, so place the two. Dash, spam the two. Yep. So that that's how, you, how we do it. But if you're too close to the to like the, the stones, what you'll actually do is you'll dash through it without hitting them. Like, there will not be enough time for it to close. And if you come at an angle, you'll only hit one wall. Like, it's just very finicky. If you're too far, you actually won't 
get there in time. That also sucks, because if he stuns me like that, if he stuns me like that, then what happens is I need to get my second dash off, but I can't get my second dash off because I'm stunned, so then it runs out, and then I'm just kind of a sitting duck. Yeah, so basically if he stuns me at any point after I press one, uh, it's very bad for me. Oh, he went, came all the way around. I didn't even realize. My original hatred from Terra, it really comes from the first Guardian Gauntlet, I would say. And that was when Terra... I don't remember what state Terra was in because her kit was removed a lot. I think that was back when she had a global alt, which was absolutely useless in duel. It didn't have the, the ultimate to hurt your opponents. <clears throat> it was basically just a global buff to all allies and did the same effect for allies as it does now. But in duel, you're just ulting yourself anyways. So it was just way, way worse in duel. And I, I, I just hated her. Uh, playing her, I would play her a lot. The Guardian Gauntlet was the thing I did where I would play the first Guardian in alphabetical order. And then once I won, I would move on to the next one. And then if I lost, I would actually move back to the previous one. And we got all the way through, but I skipped Terra. Eventually, I had like 10 games with Terra and having to go back and then come back with Terra. And all the Cobbits were just so... Like, I don't know, they were making me so sad because, uh, you know, I was trying my hardest, but obviously it was not going well enough on, on Terra. So eventually I skipped Terra and we finished it, and that was Season 1 the Garden Gauntlet. And I canceled Season 2 for other reasons. Uh, I don't, I've said this on my stream, I don't think I've ever said it on YouTube, but I don't want to bring back the Garden Gauntlet just because of the way I left it. I feel like it'd be kind of bad. Uh... I'm not saying I never will, or if my mind can't be changed, just, I don't know, it would it'd feel, it'd feel weird bringing it back. But, oh well. I will say this trick with Terra makes her, like, kind of fun to play. I gotta beat that. It makes her more fun to play because you actually have potential for a huge amount of damage. Unless he does that. Nope. We'll just use our two regularly here. Okay, now let's get Pestilence online. Also, as I'm recording this video, I turned off RTX voice, uh, or I didn't turn it off, but I turned it down to a minimum on the noise reduction. So let me know if that is better for the audio quality or worse. I did it mostly uh, to see if it'll fix my other audio problems, but if the fan is so loud, then it's not really worth it now, is it? <laughs> oh, he missed. That's usually what we want to do. Late game, that'll hit for a huge amount of damage. But right now... Right now, it hits for half his health, which isn't bad. I didn't even get the closing damage on my two. I should have ran away. Uh, looks like he's went Bancroft's Typhons, so we should probably... Well, I don't think I need more anti heal Divine... Pestilence is pretty damn good. And Toxic Blade sucks in this matchup specifically. I was going to go Genji's, but I changed my mind. Uh, let's go... Uh, I don't know. Spear of the Magus isn't a bad idea. I will still need 10% more cooldown. We can go Soul Gem. Soul Gem procs on Terra Passive, but against Anubis, we're just never really getting the, the autos off anyways. It's very rare. Yeah, he's taking all the buffs. I can't really do much about that. Oh. 
Yeah, I mean, any god that has a stun or a wall just can screw Terra over so easily. Uh, and that's like most gods in the game. Like, when I was playing Terra all day yesterday, one of the biggest things I mentioned was there's not really a matchup where you load into the game as Terra and it's like, oh boy, I'm fighting XYZ. No, it's just kind of like most of the gods have something good against you. Like, even Aposh. Aposh, most gods can have a good time against, and <laughs> he has his stun, his anti heal against Terra. So, I don't know. I'm already three levels down, too. Because he has control of all the buffs and I can't really stop him. He's recalling. That speed buff will come up and I can take it after this wave. Normally I'd get wards, but honestly we're so far behind that I don't even think that's going to be too helpful. Once my phoenix is down, I kind of have to ward for the back door. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but if I dash through my pillars, sometimes they actually stay up, but they're invisible. And you'll see that with the highlighter on my one. That it'll actually stay up. It's super strange. Nope. <laughs> imagine trying to hit the combo and it just misses. Imagine. Just imagine. <sighs> I can't even fight now. You got Spirit Mages. Trying to go like a one shot type thing. Again, I can't do much because he just keeps stunning me. I almost want to fight him and pop my thorns. Never mind. I <laughs> can't even do that. Oh my goodness. Okay. That Sunder is going to hurt so much too. Well, I still have my thorns up at least. If I used my thorns, it wouldn't have changed the fight there. I didn't get my one back because I was too far away. I don't know if it's why it's not working now. Like I said, it's very finicky. It's very, very finicky. Place a two, dash, close it. There we go. If I had my three up, that would actually be a kill. Oh my god, why are my autos not hitting? Haha. <laughs> Oh my goodness, dude. I placed my three, not because I could break it, but because it would activate my frostbound passive, right? Because it slows. And I was hitting, and I guess they just, I just missed. Even though it looked like I was right next to him. Ah. Uh, and trust me, if you, if you guys think, uh, well, what about auto attack Terra? Auto attack Terra has, you know, in theory, it has some some merit because you can go auto attack with soul gem and her passive can actually proc soul gem over and over again uh, if you're constantly hitting your autos but the problem with that is he stole this didn't he the problem with that is usually you're just not able to get all the autos off or you know they're, they're, they just kill you too fast or it's just not as good as like even some other gods 
Mostly because Terra's auto attacks have a huge pre-fire time as well. Whereas, like, let's say Geb, right? Geb, you can weave in his auto attacks between the abilities so well. It works, like, buttery smooth. On Terra, it's, it doesn't quite work like that. I, I, have to, I could have sworn I was the right distance there, but oh well. Look how much damage I did. <laughs> Look how much damage I did. Actually, I thought it was hopeless, but I went for it. If I had beads, I didn't beads because, I mean, I did think it was hopeless. Or pretty hopeless. No, even if I beads, though. Uh, I don't even know what I'm holding them on for too, too much. I used my thorns there, but... How much did my two even hit for? My two, yeah, my two hit for almost a thousand because you get the, the crush damage, which is I don't know which one it is, but and then the, the shatter damage. Oh, he got my dash again. Lol. <sighs> No, I can't, I can't do anything, man. Terra's, Terra's not a fun god. All right, GG's, there's the Terra game. I probably won't play her again. I think just if you win with Terra, it's either you're against a really low tier god or your opponent doesn't know what they're doing. I, I think that seems to be the pattern because like, I think of it the reverse way, right? Where if I'm up against a Terra and I'm playing any of these gods, any of these gods that I have fought, uh, whether it be during my Terra stream or, I mean, this Anubis game, right? Like, let's say I'm playing Anubis and I'm against a Terra, I don't, I don't imagine I would lose that ever, right? Like, it's just really difficult. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of playing her, quite honestly. Uh, but hey, if you guys are, Hopefully you learned something from the Terra trick at least. Again, I did not discover it. I'm unsure who first discovered it, but it's apparently been around for a while and I just had no idea. And thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.